Fred. <laughs> Freddy. Gladiator 2. Give me your score on the count of three. We're doing it, yeah. One. I, I, wait, wait, wait. I, I'm excited. Are you ready? Yeah, I do have a score. You've got your score. Wait, wait, wait. So I'm going first. All right. And yeah. then you're going straight after. Let's do I'm old, go straight old after. school main This night. is just how fun it was. How much enjoyment you got. Just your, your, Not how good. Your subjective score. Three, two, one, go. 3.9. 8.2, what? Fuck this film. What? It was an absolute disgrace. No. 8.2? Fuck yeah, 8.2. What? Why? Denzel Washington. Was shit. Incredible character. <laughs> the most amazing character development. Absolutely unbelievable. The set design and costumes, it was like so cool to look at. Really? It wasn't a perfect film, but God... Like the constant fighting and the battles. There's a <laughs> there's a shit battle in the Coliseum, and you're giving it what three point what? I walked out on that shit battle for a piss. So I was so like, this film's rubbish. I'm fuming. Why? What the I, that hell is, is wrong with you? Uh, that is crazy that we've got such a disparity on this one. It, you're the one who's got the disparity <laughs> to everybody else. Now it, I think it's got like something like seven point something. As on. you know. I, I am now anti ever listening to reviews until you tell me them. So uh, this is my my favorite part of the yeah, of yeah, the process yeah. is me choosing how I feel about a film and then finding out what the rest of the people think about it. And I am willing to die on this hill. This hill. I did not like it. You're wrong. Okay, go you're, on. Then. You're not allowed to not like it. It's it's good. You're not it's allowed fun. to not like it. Yeah. Nah. I feel like I could make a case for why it's good, but I feel like your stance is definitely the one that needs the case made for All right, what it. Three was, point what? Was it necessary? The sequel? No. No. Okay. So why did they make it? Because it's Gladiator. They want a sequel. They've been talking about a sequel since literally the first film came out. But that's what I mean. Like, it was so completed. No, it wasn't. Lucius, they they did they they didn't know what happened to him or what happens to the whole like the whole purpose of the first film, which is can we make it a republic or can we make it, you know, or, or do the bad guys get into power? Where does that go once Maximus dies? Who knows? There's like tons of stuff left, and it all just didn't work out for them. Like the whole, the, it, no, it but, no, no, the whole no, no, first no, 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 no. You said they left. No, there's no reason to have it. Was it was a really well completed story. I but really was... dislike that people are going back on beloved films for oh. the sake of a cash grab. It's, and if they're going to do it, and it's not going to be good, which this wasn't. It, what, uh, you... what was good? I don't understand. What did you like? About okay, it? I'm going to try not to spoil it as much as I uh, can. Yeah. Okay. No but spoilers. Probably my favorite thing. Go on. Was Denzel's character? You thought he hit his mark, did you? But I'm his less character. about the acting. Less about the acting. I thought the acting was good from Denzel. I enjoyed the way that he clearly had fun. But the character hmm. ended up. I got, and it wasn't just his character, but surprised me multiple times. It did. I had a you? lot of surprises in the film. the The whole development of that that guy was just incredible. You reckon the 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 way that I would describe this compared to Gladiator 1 is you don't get Maximus. They don't try and recreate Maximus. That They've just said goodbye to that. But what you get wait, in wait, exchange Sorry, for can that, I just stop you there? You don't think they just did die at Maximus with L Hannah slash Lucius? I'm not saying necessarily that they didn't try. I'm mm -hmm. just saying that you don't get it. I'm just saying, no, so, I, I so Gladiator 2, compared to Gladiator 1, you, you don't get what makes the first one so incredibly magical is Maximus Aurelius. Mm -hmm. You don't get another one of those. But what you get in exchange in this film is a much more complex and much more fun political game at large where, there, where a lot of characters are quite important and quite interesting and go through quite interesting changes mm -hmm. throughout the movie in a beautiful environment with tons of combat it was a good film. There was Ooh. like, the battles were like easy to follow, but also enjoyable. I thought they were really hard to follow. Well, maybe if you weren't in the fucking toilet, Fred, you might have followed them. <laughs> the first one that they had, I was thinking, this is considerably hard to decipher. Like, it's just smash, bang, who's, who's attacking whom, which, which arrow is going from whence. <laughs> Who is that strike landed thus from? I, am I thought that furious. the choreography of the fight in the first scene was 
rubbish. The f- choreography of the fight and in the no first scene. Sense. You're talking about when uh, the with the invasion when that all yeah, comes to Yeah, there's an inv- invasion in the first scene. It's not really a major spoiler. Yeah. We won't say who who it is or what happens but in it. That like whole fight, the I, early fight. I remember thinking, wow, I'm surprised that we're at this stage. Now I watch a lot of anime, right? And mm-hmm. it's it's really noticeable when they have great fighting choreography yep. because they do such a great job of following where the eye is going yeah, yeah. and showcasing like they, they'll have action set pieces and beats and they'll really um lead you in the direction of of the action and do it very well and i noticed i found it noticeable how hard it was to follow in the first okay game. well we'll just have to disagree on that particular one, one point thing. but that's one, one, one detail yeah. I, I feel like the biggest thing we're disagreeing on here is Denzel. Like, I had a lot of things I really liked about this film, like the fact it constantly surprised me. I, I, but I Denzel's Den- character, yeah, I thought sorry. Denzel was was the best performance, but he was still, like, not very good. I thought he was a bit miscast as a political opportunist. Sorry, I feel like I've been in. Inaccurate. You're talking about just the character. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know his name off the top of my head. I should have checked before I came in. It's completely escaped me, but... The, it's something like machinations, but like a Latin version. Yeah, I, I like wrote them all down and then I forgot to write this guy down. But what? it's like M- Macrinus or something. So it, that was probably my favourite bit. And that I feel like is where we disagree the most. Yeah, I didn't really... I, I thought the character was pretty generic. But he went through so many different like motivations. Like it was such a... it was so unclear what he was about to do and he did such surprising things and there were times when you kind of had like the Stockholm Syndrome of thinking he's this great guy and then other times where you're like oh he's, yeah, okay. he's kind of manipulative and me, kind of charming uh, in a, right, in a okay. kind of in a cre- creepy but very charming way. For me, that none of that landed. I was just yeah. like, "Oh my god, oh he's doing this now, is he?" The, the, he seems like a um, character that was. <sighs> How to describe this? Like wired to make you think that this was purposefully suspenseful and twisting and turning in a way that wasn't predictable. But what is the difference between trying to be successful, uh, unpredictable, if they actually are being unpredictable? But I didn't find it unpredictable at all. Okay, so you weren't surprised by any of the kind of like twists and turns from the movie? None at all. You weren't... I, I, I guess it'll be hard for us any. to do this without spoiling. There we'll were quite a through. lot of like moments where you're like, "That's shocking!" Like that's actually quite a shocking thing to have just happened, and I wasn't expecting exactly that to happen. N- no, not really. I yeah, thought. okay. And I, I think every single, ca- I, I just didn't appreciate the stakes of anything of what any of what they were trying. I tell you what, my biggest complaint was. Yeah, I was on. thinking of saving it for the spoilers. I, I might save it for the spoilers, but the biggest piece of feedback i would give Mm -hmm. to ridley scott or whoever wrote it would be the motivations of lucius the the main character yeah his was a bit confused i had more gripes with him i don't want to get too hung up on denzel's character yeah macronus we'll call him macronus we're gonna call him macronus i don't want to get (laughs) if that's pretty funny if that's what else yeah i don't want to get too hung up on him because i didn't hate him i did think man he is such He's such a touch of class above everyone else performing here. Okay. Just like... What about Paul Mescal? Oh, man, no. Not a fan? Not at all. Okay. Nothing against Paul Mescal. What it made me appreciate was just how good the original was. What's-his-face's performance in the original? Russell Crowe? Russell Crowe. Yeah, this. <laughs> yeah. this. Russell Crowe. Because to Just be honest, honest like... you know how originally I wasn't the biggest Gladiator fan? And we rewatched it, didn't we? Yeah. What was it? Can you remember what score you gave it at the start? Of the... I gave it an 8.0. Okay. Gladiator on second yeah. watch. I enjoyed it much more on the second watch. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it was because I really liked Russell Crowe's performance, his delivery of the stoic, Incredible. stoic character. I felt like... Paul Mescal. I mean, he. It was like asking someone to carry. He, he, was, he was trying to carry the room, wasn't he? He was trying to catch the attention, capture the attention of the room. And I just felt like he didn't have the gravitas that Russell Crowe did. Here's where I would disagree. It, I think that you are right. There were moments where he had to try and carry the room. 
but I actually think that there was clearly some not great, but some attempt to not try and make exactly Maximus 2.0 because a lot of the time, Paul Mescal's character, Lucius, was clearly trying to kind of not get any attention and was trying to avoid the spotlight and trying to avoid any of that. And mm. and that's what I think they also did a very bad job of. Yeah. I thought his motivation all right, his motivations were just to hate Rome. But when he had scenes where he had to hate Rome, compare I mean you're comparing it to one of the great performances in in certainly boy epic film yeah. cinema history, right? Is yeah. is Russell Crowe's performance of Maximus. And then you've got Diet Maximus, who really is like, <laughs> like yes, it's a slightly different circumstance, but they're effectively throwing him in the same machine of big event happens, he hates the world, yeah. and now he's a gladiator, and he has to run through the gauntlet. There of, were a lot of the same beats. Yeah. And um, I think they didn't differentiate I thought it, it was really lazy. And if you're going to retread that much ground, fine. But I think the fact that they completely tied it so sequentially to the original film mm -hmm. it was almost a retread but they're all related to the characters like some of the characters reappear from the original yeah which i liked they may as well just have had a remake at that point why what's wrong with a it sequel was effectively a remake no it wasn't because mm. this is probably the biggest gripe i had with gladiator one I love a main, a great main character, and that's what it provides. But I always felt like the actual politics of Gladiator 1 was just a bit mid and a bit naff. Okay. Not very well thought through, and it was just kind of really... It was the Maximus show for me. And, there, and it didn't really deliver, like, that much else for me. Right, okay. Whereas where it, this fail isn't as good, because it doesn't... It's not the Maximus show... But it actually gave quite an interesting... The thing that I really like about Gladiator is it immerses you into the Roman world, the Roman Empire. Yeah. And I think that it was quite interesting seeing an actual like political story rather than just like, here's this fucking awesome character. We're just going to follow him for a bit and watch him kick some ass. They certainly tried harder Yeah, at the politics. And I yeah. just didn't think it... I, I at no point in any of the political movements and any of the mach the machinations between the central characters mm -hmm. did I find myself invested. I yeah, thought okay. this is so generic and arbitrary, and r I don't want to just blame Ridley Scott, but well, he I didn't found write myself, it. Of course, I just found myself involved. being like, why did they come back to this? Why didn't they leave this alone? There was no need to do any of this. Now you are right to to judge it harshly. Based on that, I'm not going to try and do that when we speak objectively. But this is my score. Yeah. And I found myself thinking, look, at least if I was enjoying this, then I'd be like, fine, it's a complete retread. They've only tried to change the packaging slightly with different characters and a bit more of an emphasis on the political aspect. And then they've re-brought back in Lucilla to, so that there's some, there's some connection to the old world. And then Maximus is this deity figure. Oh, we're going to hear whispers or rumblings of him. Maybe he's more important. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Well, is it interesting? Is it exciting? No. I thought it was boring and turgid. I, I feel like I disagreed with pretty much every single thing that you well, said. You know that, what? That's, like, that's sometimes the big difference between, like, nostalgic films and not, certainly. Mm -hmm. You know, when you can look at them and think, objectively, is this any good versus how is my... How are some of the moments speaking to me personally? Yeah. And clearly, you're on one side and I'm on the other. And yeah. by the sounds of it, I would argue that there's definitely a midpoint for both of these. I don't agree with the common consensus that this is a good film because I think it lacked a lot of originality. However, I'm willing to accept that my rating was because I started to really get annoyed by yeah, the fact that I this exists. Yeah, I think it's coming from that. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, you've said it's lack of originality and you've said it wasn't entertaining and they're two quite different points both of which are like quite strong points mm. the lack of originality is probably not that strong actually there was a lot of lack of originality in it but i guess maybe mm. so there's so a lack what, of originality yeah, what, has... what what stuff so you found the political i, I get the, the, found the political really the good political uh, storyline yeah so we just disagree on that yep. i didn't I, I thought that every single thing that happened it reminded me more of the plot of trap where i it was like i thought this is ridiculous but at no point was i surprised by anything 
So it wasn't even like trap where I was like, oh my god, it's entertaining, ridiculous. Yeah. I could. I wouldn't even say it was ridiculous. I I, I saw a lot of what was going to happen before it happened. Yeah. And didn't like that they chose those directions. Now, what else? What else about it did you find entertaining? Because for me, the fight scenes I I did not like at all. The creativity of the fighting. So, like mm. the fact that you get to watch a Ridley Scott creation of fighting a weird creature or a ship battle in the Colosseum or mm. a war where you've got boats with these weird structures on and they were all quite interesting fights fighting with a I don't want to spoil any more yeah but okay like there are a lot of like very interesting fights which were made by somebody with a lot of skill in filmmaking mm. and so like a lot of it for me was the immersion it was a it was like you get it's not a perfect film, but it's quite a lot of fun going into this slightly ridiculous but quite well put together mm -hmm. vision of almost like a caricature of Rome, but quite beautiful. So, like, another example would just be, like, a lot of the characters' outfits looked insanely cool. Like, there were just so many unbelievable, like, especially Denzel's character it was just the, the, the visual experience man, like. was just the visual experience was just a lot of fun for me in fact the whole film was a lot of fun I really enjoyed the political mm. plot but aside from the political plot I also liked the immersion into a little bit of a ridiculous Rome yeah okay I felt like I felt like the main character was trying to be Maximus and, and it failed for me and the storyline I didn't buy into from the off and I tried to give it its benefit of the doubt. And the more the the more similarities I saw, the more echoes of the original I saw, and the more I felt it was devaluing what the original had, had put together, the less I was enjoying it. Then I didn't like any of the performances across the board. The characters yeah. that were introduced, I also thought were a mismatch of things that didn't fit. So they were sometimes they were mirroring the um, original. And sometimes they were brought in to be new and interesting variants on the political game. Almost across the board, I didn't like them. I mean, for instance, the Caligula wannabes, Tweedledum and Tweedledum. Yeah, Decrepit, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I, I can't say I was a fan of those two. Okay. And I, I was kind I, of com see, com sour with them. I yeah, didn't mind I felt them. it was a bit like maybe Ridley looked at what what they'd done with with his version of alien and said oh, i'll just have another one we'll make two of them two caligulas and then we'll mm. we'll have we'll have more stakes um so their their character arcs i won't go into any spoiler here i was very ambivalent towards the whole third act i thought was an absolute mess and again didn't do it for me the direction that they decided mm -hmm. to go in um, the ending I thought was incredibly anticlimactic. Uh, the dialogue, I mean, the dialogue in the original has some amazing moments. In this, it was, again, like echoes of trying to be meaningful. Um, the performances across the board I didn't like. Um, and the visuals, I suppose, were pretty good. Excellent. I so, think it's time. Yeah, I didn't really, I, I, I didn't, <laughs> I, I thought, you know what, this is the film that I have come out away from it thinking I disliked this the most. Remind so me of score. 3.9. Fucking hell, man. That and, is and you know what? that is absolutely fucking bananas. I don't know why anyone is so keen on this. I, I find it... I, I was so confident that I'd go into this and you'd say, yeah, this is really... People aren't liking this. People are up in arms <laughs> it. And I think that it's actually a testament. You guys should all be ashamed of yourselves. It's it's not blowing up. I, I think broadly the attitude from the critics is similar to my own. Bear in mind, and I will disclaim this every time, I write all of my review out before I look at any critics because yeah. it's quite easy to get influenced by their opinions. And generally, though, this roughly what I was sort of thinking was... It's really fun, but it's a, a little dumb. And I was yeah. like, yeah, I get that. They've got 7.0 on IMDb at the minute. It's not come out in America yet, so a lot of reviews. I just don't... Out. I didn't find it fun. So I think I'd have, I'd forgive all of that if I found it fun, but I yeah. really didn't. Yeah. And I think we can do better. I think as a society, we can do better. We can try and make new stories rather than rehash classics. Not rehash, <laughs> but make unnecessary sequels. 
Yeah, it seems to be a bit of a habit at the minute. I've kind of put it down to it being a lower risk investment because they competing and, and with like, streaming. You know what we did? Which one did we do it for where... Joker 2. Fucking Joker 2. Yeah, yeah. I respected Joker 2. I don't respect this film. That's a big... That's why I get... Like, that is a proxy, hot take, that. It gives... It got a much lower personal score from me because I had no respect for this film. For what yeah. they were trying to do and why they did it. Okay, cool. Well... Why don't we find out what the main eye machine thinks? Well, I am very interested to see as curator of the main eye machine. Ooh, I'm hearing some some buzzes and beats. Some ching 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 ching. ching, ching. Swords and sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that game? Did you ever? Yeah, I remember swords and sandals. Anyway, let's not get sidetracked. If you're listening on YouTube, mm. uh, you, you're not going to get to find out what happens in the main eye room. Ooh. I'm sorry. No. But if you're our Spotify listeners. Spotify listeners only. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. Or Apple Podcasts, whenever that gets <laughs> well, some Someday. We'll be back in a minute. See you in a minute. You, you've Dude, what the hell? Oh, no, there's a bloody there's a rhino. Baboon. There's a baboon and a rhino. It, it was kind of a baboon, but also it, not really a, a baboon. It was a kind of making love to a rhino. Balloon. Okay, there's so a, <laughs> there's a balloon. So, but we do have a score. Wow. So the mate night machine mm-hmm. has chugga chugga. <laughs> chugga chugga. We put, whoosh, we put the inputs. We got the output. <laughs> Out of ten, mm-hmm. to two decimal places, everything taken into account. Everything. The sequel to Gladiator, 24 years afterwards, mm. shot in something like 30 days, which, becoming apparent, scores wow. a total of 6.12 out mm. of ten. Yeah, well, I think that there is a reason why it's that low. I, I think it's going to be very forgettable. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, if you've enjoyed this so far, uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave reviews, comments. Yeah, we need second opinions on this one because we are so different in opinion on this one. Let us know what, yeah, Who's which one of us, is, which one of us is being a, b- a baboon. <laughs> a balloon. <laughs> a balloon. Who's being a balloon? And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Yeah.